Hi guys. Okay, it would not be a Beth Buchanan video if you did not hear Bree barking in the background. So just know that as you look at this face, there's a little doggy down there. And I am when you see me do this, that little jump, I'm kicking the ball. So just, you know, know that I am not ignoring her. I did not put her out of my office this time. Bree is allowed to be here today. So um, I'm going to get straight into this video about day planning, life planners, glam planners. It's very, very popular, like it's something new. And I thought, well, I don't need to jump on that bandwagon because I don't have time for, you know, planning out the week and putting all the stickers on. And I kept getting more and more intrigued the more I saw the videos. And then I realized I already am a glam planner. For years and years and years, I have used the Franklin day planner system and I absolutely love it love the concept of um, basically having a B and C and within a you have a 1 a 2 a 3 so that the things that are a are urgent the things that are B are important and the things that are C are optional and basically even if something's really important it's not urgent meaning it doesn't have to be done right now where something that has to be done right now is just timely and urgent but it is not necessarily super important. It's just timely. And the things that are optional don't mean that they don't matter unless you keep making them optional over and over and over. And then you might want to ask yourself, do I really need to even put this on my list of things to do? Here's the only problem with it. It's an incredible system. I have over the years bought probably five to seven leather zip around. I like the zip around um, because it holds in everything that I stuff in there, which you're not supposed to do. Um, but I've gotten all different colors, usually black, because I thought that went with everything. One time I did the black that fits into a cover that turns it into a purse, and it was really expensive. And then I've gotten the little teeny one, so I could put it in a purse. But then I didn't have enough room to write, so I went back up to the medium and still didn't. And then I went to large, and that was too large. And so I've experimented. Then I got an Erin Condren last year. And actually, I think I got two. Did I get one or two? Anyway, I, got, I know I got the pink one with the gold foil. And the only thing I didn't like about it was with my Franklin Day Planner, I had the binder opener where I could put things in and out. I could, you know, hole punch them if they weren't part of the system and put them in or whatever. But with Eric Condren, it was spiral bound. And so I had things I wanted to put in there, but I couldn't. And so I wasn't crazy about it. Even though it was pretty, it wasn't so pretty that I couldn't have used everything that was in there in a, in a non-spiral bound, a, a, a binder system. So I looked into Kiki K and I had seen this beautiful lavender one and it was sold out and blah, blah, blah. So it caused me to go out online and look because I've always wanted a pink leather day planner. And I look at Webster pages and frankly, some of these websites have not been as user friendly. And I found out that Webster Pages is only for wholesale, so you have to find a shop. Well, the nearest shop is in California. I'm in Georgia, so it's on the other end of the coast, unless I want to go to New York. So I'm not going to probably make those trips just for a day planner, nor could you go online and order with the store. You have to go in person. There's no online only, online only ordering. So I was just out of luck on that. But I found a Kiki K that I did like, and I realized that my Franklin Day Planner, which I use at work, uh, and you're supposed to use it at work and at home. You only have one place for everything is the whole system. Um, and you put everything from your personal to your business to everything. The only thing that I found with the business was I had so many things to do with one task. I always needed an additional page, an additional page just for listing stuff out from one task I needed to do. And so I've been looking, and um, also I did it in this beautiful tan leather, which is gorgeous in the fall and winter, but frankly, in the spring and summer, it's just ugly. I mean, it just doesn't go. So I have to admit that I switched over to a folder system. And this is just one of the folders. Um, I would have a folder for each one of my bosses that I worked with, and I would print um, emails that went with tasks that I needed to complete, and I would put in this real pretty little folder, which has these little... Pretty foil, um, what am I trying to say, pineapples. And that's neat, except it doesn't have a calendar. It doesn't have a place to go back to. It was just kind of test. So I thought, okay, well, where is something where if I wanted to three-hole punch that or 
six or seven hole or how many file of facts or day timer or day planner or Kiki or Aaron Condren or whoever. How do I put that back in the planner? How do I have enough pages once I'm in the planner? And I bought this. And I initially did not like the look of it because I thought, well, that's kind of, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't like the dots, but now I love the dots. I first smelled it and I thought, this is not leather. This is plastic, but it actually is leather. It's just, I think I smelled the plastic of the other little things inside. It's not a zip around, so this is new for me, but this will force me not to have a bunch of stuff stuck stuffed in it that's going to fall out. It forces you to become a minimalist. It forces you to be extremely organized. And yet inside I still have, because the Franklin Day Planner has this exact same thing, this beautiful pink. And if you notice, I just flipped that arm and nothing fell out. That would not have been true in my Franklin. But my Franklin had these um, little places to put cards or whatever. I put a picture of my husband. That's him in his band. And I love that picture so much that this little card that came with it and this little card and this little to-do list I've kept in here. I just got this and um, so I haven't done a whole lot with it yet. I have ordered some stickers, but then I'm a sticker nut anyway. Let me just show you. I, what I realized was is I already am this person. I'm not jumping on any bandwagon. I think um, actually the bandwagon's behind me as I've been doing this. I have this in my desk. I have this little box, and when I write people notes, here's my little box. It's got little sparkles, of course, and butterflies on it. I don't know if you can see all the little glitter on it. It's just beautiful. And inside, I have nothing but stickers. Oh, they all just went everywhere. Okay, well, like that. Can you see? It's just, look how full it is of stickers. What kind of stickers? Well, if I'm writing someone who's lost a loved one, I may do one of these sticks or stickers with Jesus on it. And I know we don't know what he really looked like, but people kind of recognize it. And, you know, it may make them feel a little more peaceful to see it's something about, you know, one of these stickers, each one represents um, a story in his life, like walking on the water and just kind of proving that he's in control of everything, including the actual elements. And then a teaching and then a teaching to the children and just all this different stuff. And then here's some little lighter stuff. And this, you know, has the, the Lord's Prayer and little lammies. I shall not want, um, I will fear no evil, um, beside the still waters, and it's just pretty, I usually, when I close the envelope over, you know, sometimes you put a little seal with your initial, I just put one of those on, or sometimes I'll put them on the front, here's another, um, sticker group that has, um, Jesus is the light in the darkness, Jesus will leave you home, lead you home, he won't leave you home, he'll lead you home, uh, his word is a light to my path, I usually put this on, um, an encouragement card to friends that I know are already Christian and just reminding them what our job is. We're to be a light to those who aren't. Um, I also do keep in here um, little um, return envelope stickers that I get. You know, when you donate to a charity, they tend to give you stickers for your address, which I actually do like that because some of them are really cute. Um, and then these are just little plain stickers you can put on the back. This is, uh, sometimes I'll find ones that, um, I usually get these at the Christian bookstore, but sometimes they're at drugstores or bookstores or um, grocery stores. This is um, scripture ones, and it says, I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me, and that's just mm -hmm. Philippians 4, 15, and it does, 13, sorry, and it encourages people um, to hang in there when they're having tough times. Um, here's a little smile, God loves you, the flowers. And so I realized I wasn't already a part of the sticker world and that, you know, getting sweet, quiet designs was not going to be any different, except that instead of being for encouragement for others, it was for organization for me. And as long as I don't go too overboard with that, I'm, I'm good with that. So anyway, I did go ahead and get this. Um, again, my um, Franklin Day Planner has these this exact little flip, exact same little flip here. I usually put bills to pay back here. Um... And again, I did a picture of my husband on top of a little card. I did, um, that's a list of scriptures about Jesus being God and how to come to faith in Christ. Um, that's a list of my children and grandchildren's birthdays, so I don't forget. Uh, there's a little today list that I can tear off and, you know, make a part of it. This little zipper, I usually put stamps in or return addresses in, but now I may put some stickers in. Um, and then there's, of course, this right here. And again, I may stick. Sometimes I think of just sticking a 20 back there in case I'm ever somewhere and I 
I'm in trouble and I think, oh my gosh, my day planner has a $20 bill. I don't know. And then also, this is from Erin Condren. It's a sticker that I decided to put on this one and a picture of my little dogs who always just, a picture of them just makes me happy. They bring no problems with them. Then what was a little disappointing about this is that as I got this, it did not have the, um, the weekly pages. And I am looking to change from the horizontal weekly to the vertical or column weekly so that I can use all the Erin Condren stickers. And all the, a, lot of the, a lot of those stickers out there on the Etsy shops are made for Erin Condren. So, but there's a lot that aren't. I mean, you can go to Michael's scrapbook and get all kinds of stickers and buttons and 3D things. And there's so many places you can get stuff. You don't have to go online. Um, but anyway, so today I did go ahead and order the filler for um, the weeklies. This came with monthlies but you have to write them in, which that's not a bad thing because it makes you have to stop and plan. And that is the point of a planner is that on Sunday night or some night um, that you take time to look over your week and what you're going to do with it personally and professionally or just, you know, however your time is divided up. And, um, you know, you may not work at a job. You may work at home, meaning you may be a mother, you may be a teacher, you may be a doctor, you may be a Secretary, you may be all kinds of things, so I don't know if you work at home or in an office or at an offsite. I don't know how you work, but um, everybody works in one way or another, or should be. Even if your work is for charities or ministries or whatever, you still, we all work. And then you rest. Well, at some point, it's good to plan. And so, I'm a real planaholic. I mean, I just, I like to have a plan. My biggest thing between me and my husband is he is spontaneous, which is wonderful. It's good that I married him. Because... Um, I like to know what's the plan, and he's like, we don't have a plan, and it's okay. I got this, and I just have to go with it, but for the most part, especially for just a regular week, I do like to plan, and it's good to sit down on a Sunday night or early, early Monday morning. I'm not an early morning person, so I usually do it at night and plan out the week, so um, they did. this did come with some stickers, follow-up, some checklists, some numbers, um, some little stickers that you can put on these tabs. I am not happy with the quality of these tabs. They're even bent. They're not very um, sturdy. They're more like paper with a little bit of laminate reinforcement. I would have expected these to be individual plastic. So I did order um, better dividers. I think this came standard for a non-kit startup. Normally in a kit you get all of that. So like it didn't come with the address, phone number, um, tabs, and pages. It didn't come with you know, your typical startup stuff for a day planner. If you do day planners, you know what I'm talking about. But it did come with this, which is good. These are to-dos. And also this, which I've never had, which is meeting notes. Now, it's it's not real hard to write the word meeting notes on a, on a plain old tab. I mean, tablet page like that. In the back, you, it comes with a tablet page notes. So that's good to have. But for all those tasks that I have during the day that I could not fit in, I can always do a little star and that, or some little thing I'll come up with, and that means go to this tab, and that's where you'll find the full page layout about that one task. And I feel like that is the answer to what my problem has been using something that just has, like, look at this, a calendar day, like that. I can't fit all I have to do in there, but that's not what a monthly is for. It's for big things like birthdays, anniversaries, vacations, um, you know big things. That's what the the monthly is for. You turn to the weekly for the little things and then you can go to this meetings or to do's for the details of those smaller things that are very important but you need more room to write. So I feel like that's really exciting. I also usually have a place for that's kind of like Bible scriptures church and what it is is behind it I usually have some encouragement scriptures in case I need them to help minister to people or to myself because the Bible of course ministers to me um, or if I need a Bible study um, series I may put that in there um, I may just print out a real pretty scripture on paper and put it in there so now I may put that on one of these tabs or some something like that in my planning um, but I'm still going to have, you know, kind of a spiritual tab, a finance tab to keep up with my monthly payments on things. Um, and then I might even have another special tab in here. But anyway, so I like it. It also has the little, you know, place for a pen. So i got to pick what color pen. I think I'm going to be using this one. This is the La Pen. And it 
is that gray. So I think that's perfect. Anyway, I'm getting started when I get my stickers in and get organized. I'll show it to you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again on my next video. Bye.